Well, alright guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. I'm going to show you how I put uh, some snakeskin backing from Three Rivers Archery on my uh, my longbow here. Um, there's not a whole bunch of information out there about this. There's only one other review. That's from Tex Grebner. So I reached out to him. He gave me some tips. And uh, they worked out perfect, man. So thanks. And uh, it came out way better than I thought it would. For my first time doing this, it looks great. It's holding good. You know, there's a couple mess ups here and there, but that's on my part. Just from trimming, and I'll show you that in the video. But yeah, I am very happy with how this turned out. It looks sweet. This is the uh, Copperhead, if you go to Three Rivers. And then if you go to Tex Grebner's, he did the uh, Rattlesnake. So you kind of get both there, so. Yeah, turned out good, so like, subscribe, and uh, let's go. Alright, well the first thing you're going to want to do is pop these little brass inserts out. You just come in through the back side. I just pushed it with an Allen wrench a little bit. They're usually pretty loose. You don't want to be tough on it. You can use a little screwdriver if you need to and just pop it loose. That way this is flush, and then we're going to sand it down a little bit. That way uh, the glue and uh, the snakeskin will uh, have a better bond and stick to the laminate better. Okay, for this I'm just using uh, 220 grit sandpaper. And uh, you don't want to go crazy with this. You just want to rough up this laminate a little bit. Because if, uh, if you take too much off, you can actually change the weight of your draw length on the limb. So you just want to rough it up a little bit. Give it a place for the glue to kind of fit into the grooves and the snake to stick to it better. You don't want a smooth surface because it won't, it won't bond as well. As you can see as it gets roughed up, the color will change a little bit. You can tell that the, the laminate's coming off. That's all you really want to do. You don't want to go super crazy here. Oh, another thing, um, only do it to the side you want to do the snake skin on. Keep this side nice. I got some dust on it, but yeah, you want that to stay, stay laminated. Don't even touch that side. Just this side. And when you're done doing that, <clears throat> excuse me, you just got to clean it off with, with water and make sure there's no powder, no dust. Everything's clean before you even attempt the next process. Alright, after they've been roughed up and wiped off so there's no dust, I, uh, I covered up my limb tip overlays here with some, uh, just some painter's tape so I don't get glue and the clear coat on it. And, that way I can just kind of protect the finish that's on those already. Alright, the next thing we're going to do here is take this, uh, this snake skin. This is from Three Rivers. I'm going to lay it out, measure it a little bit, cut it off. This comes in 70 inches, so it's obviously enough for both limbs. And uh, just measure it off, that way I don't have to mess with it when the glue's on there. All right, this was the glue that I was uh, recommended to use. I never heard of this stuff before today, but uh, looking into it and reading some reviews and stuff, I think it'd be perfect. You know, it's it's permanent, non-flammable, it's waterproof, it's paintable, and uh, it's flexible, which is the most important thing because these limbs are going to be bending and snapping back. If, uh, if you use like a, a kind of glue that gets too stiff, it's just going to crack and uh, snake skin will just kind of peel off, so... Let's see how this stuff works. It looks like it's going to be perfect. So, All right, so reading the directions here. Uh, we roughed the surface up, you know, got all the dust and dirt off, so we did that. And uh, it says it takes 24 hours to cure, but won't be fully cured for 72 hours. So remember that. Don't just let this dry overnight and then string your bow up and start shooting, you know. it's not It's not ready yet. 
So uh, just keep that in mind if you're going to use this stuff or whatever glue you use. Make sure you read the directions. See the cure time. Here's a little tip for what I'm doing. I'm going to do mine inside of this cardboard box. That way for 72, because it's, you know, there's a foot of snow outside right now and it's 25 degrees here in Ohio. So uh, I can put it in this box and I can move it around to wherever I need to for 72 hours. So it's fully dried without touching it. You know, just keep that in mind, just a little idea. Alright, I got the glue on there. And uh, I use quite a bit, and then I'm just going to spread it out with this. And uh, it's thick, so you're going to need more than you think. I'm going to need even more than this. But the good thing is you got a little bit of time. It doesn't dry, you know, super fast. But yeah, you're definitely going to need quite a bit of glue. And then this uh, this snake skin is gonna soak up a lot as well. I'm not really worried about excess because we can sand it off at the end before we before we seal it. A little bit more here in the middle. So now I'm going to lay the snake skin on it. Make sure you get it up there exactly how you want it. Make sure you try to center it the best you can. And uh, then you're going to want to smooth it out. Okay, and then to smooth it out, I'm just kind of dragging cardboard. This is important. You don't want any wrinkles in your snake skin or nothing like that. Because this fabric is soaking up a lot and you can feel the texture. All right. Well, these have been drying for about 24 hours. And then uh, I just trimmed up the sides with some razor blades. I'm going to do some clear coats here with the uh, matte clear enamel. Just a couple, you know, just light coats at a time. Probably take about 10 coats or more. So just do a little bit at a time, let it dry. Don't put it on too thick, it'll drip. Create bubbles and stuff, don't look good. So just take your time here. All right, well, after about 10 coats of this and letting it dry all night, this is what we came up with. Looks pretty good. I just got to put these back in, and then I'm probably going to let it sit another day or two before I even string up the bow, just to make sure everything's set good. A couple mess-ups here, but that's on my part. But uh, everything looks good. Everything's, everything's solid. Everything's still staying glued down. No peel-ups. That was a mess-up for me trimming. Um, yeah, everything's, everything's smooth. It's going to be waterproof and looks pretty good. Came out, came out good. I'm happy with it. So 